Hey guys, it is 7demo7. Seven How are you guys doing? Um, just wanted to come to you with a quick video. Hopefully this will help some of you guys out as far as which props to buy. Um, I've set them out here in my my favorite uh, to least favorite. Um, this one here, I haven't tried yet. That This one is the Turnigy Slow Flyer Propeller. And the only reason I haven't tried them yet is I haven't had time uh, to get them on my craft yet. And plus I need to uh, ream the hole for them. Okay, just to let you guys know, um, I think that the best performing prop is the stock prop. Of course, the B props, um, they have the best punch out. Um, they're lighter weight uh, when you do um, use them because you're not having to use the prop adapters. Uh, the only question is durability. Um, sometimes the ends of the, of the, of the props can crack. Uh, if you hit something, um, they're a little bit fragile there. Uh, and obviously we want to not have them fall out of the sky like the A props were, but um, they're the easiest to, to install and whatnot. Um, uh, so I'll just leave that at that. It's my favorite. The closest performing uh, prop is the uh, Wakira props, and um, I was turned on to these by a fellow on the um, on the RC groups forum. Uh, just to let you know, this one has a five millimeter hole in the top. It's just at the top though, and at the bottom it's pretty wide open here. So you end up having to use a little spacer. And these spacers, I ended up these are aluminum spacers. I ended up getting uh, free with my carbon props, so that it's kind of cool that they um, have those, but these match the performance of the stock pops the closest. Not quite, it doesn't have quite the punch out, but it's very, very close. Um, I do like them, um, they uh, are smooth. Uh, you don't have to have a whole lot of uh, stick to get them get the craft up in the air compared to these next two propellers. These next two propellers, this is the N-E-E-W-E-R, -E the newer um, carbon fiber props that you can get off of eBay. And this is the DJI Phantom. Um, prop. Um, both of these you need about half stick to get off the ground um, of, on, the, on your throttle. Once you're in the air though it's a very predictable flight. It's not too twitchy at all and um, they're fairly quiet. Um, just to let you know that these carbon props have a six millimeter hole which matches the uh, the shaft here so you don't have to do any type of shimming or anything with this carbon prop and they are extremely extremely strong and of course extremely sharp so be careful with those um, the strength is a cool thing but it, you never know in a crash you might this might you know put some of that crash energy right into, into the arm of your craft and actually break your arm rather than break your prop and I'd frankly <laughs> I'd want to break a prop rather than, than break your body so and here is the DJI Phantom uh, blade. And this has an open eight millimeter hole. So you do need to have at least one spacer in there. What I do is, uh, because I do know that it's, uh, it's not a perfectly round hole, it has some, some little side uh, built up thing uh, there for, um, for the DJI. But uh, on the bottom, it's completely open. So what I do is I run the spacer once again, right in the bottom here, and then it, it, it lines the, um, the prop. And when you squish, when you put the nut on the top, it does uh, hold it perfectly centered with the uh, with the spa the washer on the top. So, like I said, I like all of these props. I, maybe I didn't say that. I do like all these props, um, but I do like the stock the best. Um, like I said, this I believe these are APCs. I bought them that way. I, it doesn't say APC anywhere on there. They're very lightweight. Uh, but it does have a five millimeter hole. That means I need, and it goes all the way through. That means I would need to, to ream them. I don't really have an, a, the ability to ream uh, these. I haven't bought a reamer yet, but uh, I will try these. This one in the future. It seems a little bit, little bit flimsy to me um, out of the box. Out of the box here. So guys, uh, I'm hoping that this helps you out maybe in your uh, prop decision. Um, like I said, I, I do like these Wakiras. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Um, that's what I have on my craft right now. It's uh, looking pretty sweet with the white and white. Um, uh, the prop adapters are doing really well, and um, I really enjoy uh, using those. It, there's, it's a slight bit heavier, but um, I, I tell you, it's, uh, you really can't even notice the difference. Um, uh, I did break one of my B props at just far on the very end, so uh, I don't have a complete set right now. Otherwise, I would have them on there. Uh, anyway, you guys have a great day, and hopefully this helped. Bye.